Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, at the end of the last episode, we just watched the uh, sort of introduction. In fact, we haven't even finished the introduction to um, the plant sort of chapter of this uh, this game. Yeah, lots of cutscenes. Lots and lots of cutscenes. <laughs> I'll knock this guy out. <laughs> Raiden is a, is a peaceful guy. That knocked him out, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, not even a minute in. Cutscene. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I enjoy it. I just hope that you guys do as well. <laughs> Oh the terrorists God. call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. That's kinda cool. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. I mean, Could if you ignore the womanly, you know, hair billowing. Not a chance. Oh, my neck. <laughs> Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take hey, one. Hey, was lucky there weren't any sentries. Light. <laughs> you never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? Strut B. Strut B? <laughs> yeah, Strut B. The big shell is comprised of shells 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. Again, a simple memo. So the whole thing Would've is this like right up. I wouldn't need to go through it right end. now. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. But no, I understand they gotta explain it. <laughs> I'm not just being really picky. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Got it. I'm on my way. Ooh. Bandage. Which I will never use. I think these are bullets, but I don't have a gun yet. Nope, I'm not going to listen to you tell me how to crawl. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about I think it's worse us. because the you second time you play through it, you know where you're going. Is no exception. So the cutscenes are quicker. They know arrive quicker because you know here. exactly where to go. <sighs> The first There's time around, no need you know, for they're a bit more spread out. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Uh, I just wasn't even listening to that. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. I'll go check the roof. Two I'll sentries. The floor to you, okay? Understood. Better call the colonel. <laughs> so obvious. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten How? yourself against a wall and hit the punch I have button. no Got ideas. <laughs> 300 missions and you can't even distract one guard. Come on, Raiden. Alright, give me that node. Give me that node goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I know this isn't the right way, but I wanna go and get the uh, the M9, the, the trank gun first. Ugh. Ugh, sorry, it, it's early in the morning. I apologize for that yawn. I'm not bored. 
My god, I better ring the colonel. <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> ah. Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher. A type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise I like how for some reason caution, in all the sort of uh, but you can use chaff when they explain why everything is that'll knock for some reason Ryan has the stealth camo on try to locate some chaff which doesn't you can also destroy the hair engine or the why. camera some of the UAVs may be armed be careful copy that wait a second I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10 intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? <laughs> Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. What about Easy the money. package? Good work. Your retrieval what? is on the way. Come I said on the home. package. You Roger know what I'm that. talking about. Holy Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the President's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Yeah, I'll uh, get right on that. Not, not just yet, though. Is there a sentry around here? Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, let's get on this. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, eh? Who needs stealth camos? I just feel more comfortable with the M9. That's all. And who wouldn't? Do I really need a cutscene every time? Nothing here. He going? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, it's just in here. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, now we can go back. Oh, oh. It's coming this way. <laughs> Has anyone ever got grip level 2? Because I, I read about it, and apparently you have to do 100 pull-ups <laughs> to get grip level 2. And I was like, this is <laughs> this is not what I want from Metal Gear Solid. Uh, so I never bothered doing it. As far as I can tell, you don't really need to either. Freeze! <gasps> I didn't need to shoot him. The AB connecting bridge. I know it's AB. That's right. Ring Colonel. I'm not even gonna. Ride and watch out. I'm not, hey, there don't shout at me. Posted on the connecting I'm not even gonna make jokes about they it. They will now. spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? <laughs> Face any. I don't need to make jokes. They ride themselves. Push the action hanging? button to clear the railing and hang over the side. What's that? Once I've already there, done it. You can move sideways while keeping out. And again, of he's got the stealth camo on. I don't. All right. I got that. I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Cripes. I'll keep my eye on it then. Oh, I didn't even need to go then. Come on, little sentry. Turn around. That's right. Just turn around, and he said, oh, I didn't even need that, I could have just shot him in the face. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my god, we're here. 
Hello? Prez. El Presidente. Oh, God. It's a massacre. This is going to run way over 15 minutes. <laughs> oh god. This last guy here, he, he's kind of what I'm like on Metal Gear Online now. <laughs> I haven't played that in so long. It must be over. It must be like a year. Or maybe a little less. Now, it's been a long time. This is why I'm like against everyone. <laughs> Today, or rather, six. He's got a cool voice. I think you'll agree. <laughs> Get down. to just insult me like that. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. 
Shoot him! What are you waiting for? You know what's weird about this bit? Are you all done cleaning up? Yeah. See how he slides the cartridge there in slow motion? Something interesting. And I'm reloading in slow motion? Why is Vamp talking at a regular pace? Be right there. I mean Either Ryan and Snake are actually moving that slow or Vamp is talking so quickly. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Just saved your life. My name is... Ooh. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you yeah. get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Fox? He's checking out his crotch. <laughs> That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, Done weapons 80, Done that one. advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just crazy. That's the special missions game I was that's talking about. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die at field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Oh, Metal Gear. You so aware of yourself? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. <laughs> so I'll have a smoke. What was that man just now? <clears throat> that blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. 
They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Hey, look, that's me. Legends are usually bad news. I didn't There's do not any a lot of that. difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, As I understand it, that bit was taken out of the His game. body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. <clears throat> what about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. It doesn't. Take this too. Actually, if you uh, here's an interesting point. If you do equip, um, well, if you do start smoking in this game in, regularly, eventually Raiden will just take it upon himself to whip out the, the SIGs at any point. Like he'll just automatically equip them. So you can get addicted to smoking in the space of 24 hours. connecting bridge we need to get there can you handle it I need a few more minutes remember my frequency it's 141.80 141.80 got it I've been briefed on this plant's layout if you need information on the place or about dead cell contact me you're using nano communication right yeah but I can patch into your frequency Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's just nip back down here. Get the radar up and up and running. Excellent. Okay, I think there's some bullets here. Yeah, cool. Oh my God, a bomb! <laughs> Yeah, you're not supposed to know that's there yet, but I do. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about that now. Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Cheeky. You don't tell me when to save, but I will do. God, 40 minutes. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I Devin still don't Rose. have a clue. I'm on a mission here. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? If I'm alive. Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. 
I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow, no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do Which with is Solid Snake. Job. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact he you might as soon ask, as well, I find full, out though. something. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end, end the episode there, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Another another extended episode because of the, the lengthy cutscenes, but um, I do hope you're enjoying it so far, guys. And I hope you join me for the next episode. Uh, see you later.